Okay, let's try to separate some faces from an existing mesh. I'll do a Shift A. Let's create a mesh uh, icosphere. Uh, there are two things you can do. Uh, first of all, I can simply select some faces. So I'll select five faces with clicking and shift clicking. I then right click on one of them and go split. Now, if I go G right now, you can see that's already been separated. Okay. But what if you want to separate all the individual faces, all of them individually from the mesh? So what you could do, so I'll do escape, I'll do a control Z and control Z to undo all that stuff. What I could do is like select one face, right click and split. The next one, select one face, right click and split. Select another face, right click and split. Now what I think, that will work. That will work for those three faces, you see, that works. But of course it doesn't work for any of the other faces, which are still connected. So what you think is like, okay, so what if I simply select all those faces and just right click and go split. But because you've got all of them selected, I mean, it just, I mean, you're separating all the faces from an existing mesh and they simply become the new mesh, which is the same. So that doesn't work. So if you do that, there's one other action you need to do, which is Alt M. Alt M and split all the faces by their edges. So every face will have like these edges and all the faces are now separated by their edges. So if I now select any face and go G, you see that this one is separated and this one is separated and this one is separated. They're all separated and that's actually what you want. Okay, so they're now like they're all individual faces, but still part of the same mesh, which creates some interesting possibilities. Because, for example, if I just randomly select some faces, so select uh, random, there you go, and I'll select this little uh, thingy, this transform pivot point, I set it to the 3D cursor, which sits at the center of my mesh, okay, and I select this little thingy, which is called transformation orientation to the normal, well, then you get an interesting effect, because if I now do uh, scale, you see all the faces are scaled from uh, the 3D cursor using the normal of those faces, outwards or inwards, which creates an interesting effect. I can then right click some of those faces. Actually, I'm, I'll right click the selected faces. Uh, I'll do a poke faces, which will put like an additional vertex at the very center of all the selected faces. And next what I'll do, I'll do an Alt, uh, Alt A to unselect everything there. Um, I'll do a select uh, random vertex. So select some random vertices, there you go. And then for example, again, do a scale. You get some really cool effects and uh, you can make almost like anything you want, okay? So that's how you separate faces from an existing mesh. Hope you enjoyed it, bye bye.